In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the 2024 Boarding the Tante 4. Now, this is a new set compared to what I have been reviewing earlier, whatever. Um, but yeah, 2024, around 500 pieces, retail for $55. Um, that's good, I guess. Uh, but whatever, the set is really good, actually. I do like this set a lot. Uh, the, it's a lot of minifigures, as you can see, going off. $50, $55, whatever. Uh, if you're going to buy this... I don't see why you would buy this for the set. I mean, it's, it's not a bad set. But yeah, you get seven minifigures in the set. Uh, so, I mean, that's crazy good, I, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, as I said, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start talking about the set. So let's just remove the figures out of the scene or whatever. Here's the set, as you can see. Uh, it's a lot of studs and like, we have a few jumper pieces. So you have no worries about like, where I'm gonna place the minifigures, whatever. Like, there's space for putting the minifigures, like, basically however you want. You can also have a figure like standing with one leg on the jumper piece and then one leg on that. And you can like do that. So you like falls, whatever. And same here, I think, yeah. So if you want to do that, you can do that. And also with this, I, I guess that's that. And I guess that is that one. Uh, but yeah, that's what you can do. Uh, if you look at the walls, which is my favorite part about this set, no doubt about that. I mean, look at the size of this wall now. Excuse me for the, like stickers. I'm really bad at placing stickers, but uh, the the pieces, uh, it look like that. I don't know why. I don't really know what, exactly what these calls, but you, the tile, whatever piece, uh, one by two, it looks so cool. It's really accurate to what you see in like the board, like in te like on episode four, like in this place and everything like that. Like I mean, Rogue One, whatever. Uh, uh, how it looks on the wall with these like one by two pieces. It looks really accurate. It looks really good. I, I just love it. I don't know. I just love that part a lot. Also the vents, whatever, looks looks, looks cool. Uh, yeah, here again, sorry for my stickers. I'm not the best one to play stickers, definitely not. Uh, but these slow pieces looks amazing. One thing that I do not like about this set or whatever, and with a lot of other like Lego Star sets is, when I'm gonna display a Lego set, I don't want these like this many like Technic pieces up. I, this is for you gonna connect one more, uh, so you can like buy another one, connect, have one big, like, I don't know, I just, I don't know why. I just, I, I don't, I know why I don't like it. It looks ugly. But I mean, all these technique things, like, all, oh, what is this? What even is that? Like, why? There's just too much of this, like, technique and, like, everything like that. If you look at the back, now you're not gonna just play like this, but, like, you know, this, like, what is that? Just, if this would be all white and just dark, like a dark gray brick hair, it would be much better. But yeah. That's just like, I don't really like that because I'm displaying my sets. Um, but yeah, a play feature, like basically one of the only play features, or I guess not because this is, this is definitely a play feature. Uh, but one thing you can do is you can either push this back, uh, but I also really like you can actually here put this down. I think it will do the same thing. So I don't know why I have, they have two things for that, but yeah, that's faster, I mean. Um, but yeah, close, close, the, close the door. I don't, I don't think that's a sticker. If it is, I put that on very good. But yeah, anyway, the door, that looks really cool. But yeah, I said, um, I guess this is more for like opening the door and that's more for closing because as you can see here, it opens very fast. Yes, boom, you know, Vader comes out. He's gonna stand right there basically uh, so that you can recreate that scene and then just close it with this very easy. Uh, but yeah, that's probably one of the biggest play features and this, that's like the only play features, uh, which I mean, you don't need much else uh, as play features in this set. One thing I would love to see a Lego do here is have here, I don't understand why, like, I don't understand why. It's literally three pieces they needed to add for this. They included all of this, but it couldn't include, include three tiles. A two by four, white tile and then a two by six and another two by six like why didn't they have it? i don't know it's got to be something you gotta like use this for i don't know why wouldn't they just add three tiles literally three tiles a one by uh two by four sorry and then a two 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 by six tiles why wouldn't they add that on like what i don't understand that they yeah you can do that yourself super easy i said just three parts but the Lego doesn't do that, it's kind of insane. Like, why don't they do that? It looks so much better. Yeah, I don't, maybe I'm just getting too upset, upset there, but yeah. We have that, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. The side, the pieces I love here again. The fire, as you can see, um, for, yeah, that's a door piece. Uh, but that, that's, that's the fire when you, the play feature, whatever. You can see how the play feature works here. Very easy. Uh, I could never build this myself or come up with that, I guess. But yeah, you see, you just pull this down, the fire door, flies out and yeah close it just pull this up 
yeah, it's a lot of not a lot of technique, but like you know, it's, it's not hard to build or anything like that. Uh, the back, not like it's not even display this, but if you're wondering how it looks like, this is what it looked like. And then the yeah, front of the set, whatever. Here we go. That that's the set. Not too much boarding and boarding the tenth floor looks really cool and amazing and iconic scene from Star Wars. Uh, so that's just something you need to have, especially with the minifigures. It's not like like it's not like this was like. Sometimes when I buy a Lego Star Wars, it's a little like, should I really buy this? This was no doubt, but like I, I just bought it. I mean, look, it's a, it's an iconic scene. It's a good set. It's amazing minifigures. It, there's no reason not to buy this. It, it's not an expensive anyway. So I mean, I just bought this. I think like if you can find this for like fifty dollars, fifty five, buy this. Like it's still on shelves. Of course, it came out this year. So uh, you should definitely buy this. The, uh, maybe not used. Uh, I, I was meaning like buy buy the set for the minifigures and the set. I mean it's an, it's amazing both of them. But yeah, that's the set. Let's talk about the minifigures. I can start off with fives. The um, yeah, I've talked about this before. Uh, the helmet looks like yeah, it, it's terrible. It's I don't even have like another word for that. That's just terrible. I've talked a lot about that. Uh, the rest I guess is okay. The legs is not bad. It's just sad they just printed the wastecape and didn't have. A full cape, whatever. Anyway, yeah, arm printing super great. Looks the arm printing looks amazing. Torso looks also amazing. The only thing is the ammo thing, whatever. It could that's like that's like double size. So uh, it's a lot you can improve. Uh, it's or it's a lot you can improve, and it could made it better. The guns is like not bad, but way too big. And like the, there's customs ones that I definitely use on display. I just or of course for the review I have the official ones, but. Yeah, also one thing that I love, I totally forgot about this, the underneath the head. This is, I don't know how, but like, uh, this is so bad, but this is so good. The head underneath, they have the, f you can definitely see directly this is fives. I mean, the head, sorry, it's bad to focus here, but like, you can see the head. It's a normal clone face, just, I don't know if it's like, looks older, but like, you have Baird and the the fives tattoo, because obviously it's five, 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 whatever, whatever. Uh, fives, so, yeah. I don't know. They could definitely make it better, but it's good. It's really good in some ways. But yeah, they could make it a lot better. But that's that. I I think everyone knows like everything about five. But then we have four not named characters. We have two uh, rebel guys, whatever. They like ten to four, basically. Uh, yeah, ten to four. I was. Yeah, I don't even know. Uh, ten to four, whatever. You know these rebels, like basically the original original Star Wars rebels. Like, I just love the design of these. I don't know why. I love the hats. Like, I've always done it. Maybe it's nostalgia from, like, the 2008 Battle Pack, whatever. Or just, like, the character themselves. I don't know why. I just really like these Rebel guys a lot. So, to get two of them in here, really good. They, one thing they could have made, made it better is to do the dual model legs, like, uh, with, the, like, the black boots, whatever. That would be a lot better. But, like, I mean, it's not like I'm complaining about these. They They look amazing. Like, yeah. Nothing to say. They look amazing. Love them a lot to get two of them in this set. And then we have two snow, uh, not snow troopers, storm troopers. Uh, just normal storm troopers. I mean, I don't think they look bad. The helmet is like accurate. I know a lot of people complain about it. Like it looks goofy, like totally. But like, I still like, I don't know. It's not, it's, it's still kind of accurate in my opinion when you look, when you look closely and focus, but like the torso looks good, the legs looks good. I don't have, I don't have so much to complain about. Maybe they can fix the helmet a little better, but it's still very accurate. So I don't know what they could do, but yeah, you get two uh, stone troopers. I love that we get two of each. So we didn't get like to two, snow tro two storm troopers, sorry. And then one of these guys are like, just, just like that. So not. Yeah, just half the whatever. I love that we got two snowtroopers. Why do I keep saying snowtroopers? Stormtroopers and Rebel Alliance, whatever, guys. Sorry, I don't know what's going on here. But then Captain Antilles, um, the third time we see him, I think. I'm not 100% sure, definitely not. But looks really good. I love the tan and dark tan combination here. Looks really good. Love the face print. Love the ha hat, sorry, whatever, as I talked about the Rebel guys. And, but yeah. Torso looks amazing. Just look at all the details, all the pockets, the like shirt he has underneath, the like jacket, whatever he has, the card he has, like the arms, or the arms, nothing specialized, no arm printing. So they could have made that, but like it's not, doesn't matter. I don't even, what, what could they do for arm printing on Captain Antilles? Uh, the face looks amazing. Just dark, same here again. If they would make a dual model leg, just black boots would be amazing. But still, this. If it's, that's just if I'm gotta complain about something, but it, this is still like a. If you just go on accuracy and how good it looks and stuff, it's definitely like a eight, nine, 
maybe not a 10 out of 10, but like 8, 9 out of 10, whatever. It's a really good min figure. Love Captain Antilla. It's really good. Uh, love to love that we saw him. I mean, it's crazy. Lego did include a lot of minifigures. Uh, two name or three name characters, but two to the actual set. I mean, that's amazing for like $55, in my opinion. I just, uh, Lego just delivered good sometimes, but sometimes not like fives, maybe, but whatever. Uh, Darth Vader. Nothing special there. We've seen him a million times. Maybe not. Maybe not exactly this version. I also realized now. I don't really focus down to, like focus on that too much. But arm printing. Love that we got the arm printing. Like of course, why would you not? Uh, <laughs> uh, but legs looks amazing. When you really focus on the details, it looks really cool. But yeah, torso, legs, arms. We have arm printing. Love that. Uh, the head. I can show you guys. I think it's the white face. It is, and it actually looks really cool. I had never seen that. Whoa, that was a cool face. You, that's Darth Vader. I've never seen that. He looks really angry and rough, but we have the white face. Love the white way, white face for Darth Vader. But yeah, as I uh, didn't know that face print was underneath. That looks amazing. Whoa. Just a normal Darth Vader. So it always looks like this when it does review. Uh, but we have two snow troopers. Oh my, two stormtroopers. Two rebel, uh, whatever, guys. Captain Antilles. Fives and then Darth Vader and then the actual set, amazing deal for fifty five dollars. It's still on, on shelves, whatever. Of course, like it's still it's twenty twenty four. Uh, buy the set if you can find it for fifty or fifty five dollars, whatever. Uh, trust me, it's worth it. It's worth every penny, whatever. Uh, to get all of this, you can also display. I saw this thing here. You know this as I had in the beginning, like when he Darth Vader showed Captain Antilles the actual scene. You can remake that. It looks amazing. You can see on the box and stuff. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, one of the better sets I review, I think, like for a price and everything like that. One of the better minifigure sections, selections, whatever, in a Lego Star Wars set, definitely in my opinion. It looks, it's really, it's, it's good minifigures. But whatever, thank you guys so much for watching this review. Review. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.